Morning all. Last uh, punch down today because I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, so this is the barrel as it stands. Uh, I haven't done the sugar level yet, so it's all well pushed out at the top and it's still quite hard to pige. I'm just going to roll my sleeve up a bit. It's a bit better. Nice and warm underneath and bubbling away nicely. Still smelling a bit eggy. So it's Monday morning this morning. So I think coming at the, at the weekend on Saturday and Sunday to have a peach, but I think you probably only got a peach once on Sunday because I'm not sure they work that late in the afternoon to do it again. So by taste, this is still not dry. Um, it'll take two or three more days probably to get dry. There's still a few whole grapes. Uh, you can get a whole one, you can feel it's whole, and then you can pop it. And inside the juice is probably still sweet. And that's a slight problem sometimes when you press these barrels, uh, when the wine appears to be dry, after you pressed it, the pressed wine is sweet, because a little sweeter, because um, some of the grapes are still Got juice in them and haven't fermented. Hmm. Really, it's very good this barrel. Much darker, more concentrated than um, a couple of other uh, other Grenaches, and I think that's probably partly because it came from a block with relatively deep coloured. Um, vines and clones in it, and possibly partly because of the, the foot treading, which was really helped to break down some of those skin walls before it started uh, macerating. So all in all, this is going to be a barrel I'm going to keep an eye on. When we come to pressing, we normally what happens is we press two of these barrels together, and uh, uh, their blended wine goes into one of these same 500 litre barrels, and then leaving a fair amount for the press um, that goes in the press wine. It's just possible with this barrel I might see if I can put it into a 225 litre. So this wine just on its own, um, we can carry on seeing it without having to blend it away. Um, but mainly for your interest in fact. Uh, it might allow us to do a club members barrel bottling at some point. Um, so, but having said that, if that doesn't work out from our plan then I may, not, I may be forced not to do that. And I may choose not to do that depending on what else we need to press. So I haven't taken view on that. I'm going to make some plans this evening and discuss with Dominique who will do the pressing while I'm away. Um, but yeah, that's all. I'm, what I'm going to do is fill up a bottle, um, which um, I will bring back to the UK. It's still fermenting, so the chances are the cork's going to blow out or the bottle will burst. But I will try and have it at the um, club tasting on, or the domain of the bee tasting on um, is it the 2nd of November, I think it is. Um, so anyone who wants to come along to that, please do, and I'll see if I can bring that bottle and we can have a taste of this wine. Right, that's all for now. Signing off, and I probably won't speak to you again until I get back to England. Bye for now.